As I explained in the last video, this is a practical output of a dual power supply project. In this PCB, this section including four diodes and two big 2200 microfarad capacitor comprises of a bridge rectifier. You can see two LM317 and LM337 linear voltage regulator ICs here and I don't want to explain their purpose in this video. The other main part of this circuitry is 12 volt center tap 2 amps transformer. Now let's check the circuit. As you can see, I vary the preset of LM337. You can uh, see a variable negative voltage on the digital multimeter. Similarly, when when I vary the preset of 317, I get a variable positive voltage too. I designed this circuit to get a maximum of 22 voltage since I am using a 2K port. But here you can see I only get a maximum of 13 to 14 volt on each regulator side due to the use of 12 volt transformer which does not compensate the dropout voltage. So to get a 22 voltage, you must at least use 24 volt center type of transformer. Always remember the unregulated input must be at least 2 to 5 voltage greater than your desired output voltage in order to spell out the heat produced by the IC. I plan to fit a 12 volt DC fan and I designed a 9 volt regulator fixer regulator circuit using a 9 volt 1 ampere transforms as you can see in the video. The circuit is working fine and you can see it is driving the DC fan and giving me a 8 voltage of 8.8 volt approximately 9 volt. Since I am using a 9 volt instead of 12 volt the fan is not rotating at its full speed but enough for this demo purpose. I made ventilation holes from the top of the enclosure and fitted the fan. Once again, I tested the fan using 9 volt supply. I am not here using a switch or a temperature sensitive fan controller as you can see here. But in the coming future videos, I will explain how to make a circuit that turn on and off the fan according to the input temperature. I fitted this fan to the enclosure using a double sided tape. Similarly, by marking and making holes, I fitted the two transformer using nut and bolt and made connection to the PCB using terminal block. I made all proper connection using terminal block and used same double sided tape to stick them to the enclosure. You can see in this video. Uh, finally, I pulled out output terminal to the other side of the enclosure along with the two 2K preset. It looked dull at the front part of this dual power supply due to the 2K preset but if you can use 2K port, it will be look much better than this. I connected my 30 volt mini drill to the output of this regulator and place a wire in front of it, the drill chuck in order to make the rotation of the drill clear for this video purpose. I am not actually connecting a digital multimeter once again because I already show you that. You can see motor is rotating and when I change the voltage to a much higher value, the speed of rotation is increased proportionally. This power supply is enough to power up your hobby circuit or to do some fun experiment with op amps which require dual power supply and many other small lab purpose. But since linear voltage regulator produce heat and are not efficient as like an SMPS or switch mode supply. So uh, if you are using some circuit that is very simple sensitive to the voltage fluctuation. I don't recommend you using this linear voltage regulator but in the coming future video I am planning to show you how to make an SMBS your own at home and basic things you want to know about an SMBS. If you like this video and it could be helpful please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Thanks for watching.